In our first video, we saw how to create a board outline in Fusion 360 and then import it into Eagle. But what if we want to go the other way? Hi, my name is George Garcia and I'm a support specialist for Autodesk Eagle. In this video, we'll be making some changes to the outline we created in the first video and then pushing those changes back to Fusion. So as you can see, this is the board that we created in Fusion. And let's go ahead and make some changes to it. Let's, uh, let's add just a few holes. Make them nice and big, really easy to see. Okay, we'll put one here, put one here, just kind of put them in, in different spots. Let's go ahead and use the miter command. Let's give this a radius of 100 mils. Okay, let's get another one and make a really big radius. Let's take this one. Okay, and then we've made a few changes to our board. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Fusion Sync button. You notice it already says push required. We'll click it. Now it says out of sync, push to fusion. We will click push to fusion. Okay, we can type a description of the change. We can say modified board outline. And we click push. So you can see it says your Eagle board has been successfully pushed to Fusion 360. So we'll say OK. I'll go ahead and close this. And now I'll open up my Fusion. And if I expand my little window here, we'll see how it says data in this folder has been updated. I click Refresh. Now we see that we have version 3 of the board here. I double click it to open it. And there's our board with the changes we made. It's that easy. You just make the changes in Eagle and push them back. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.